Hello everyone, welcome to 3D Worldwide. This is part one of a two-part video. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a football. And then in part two, I am going to show you how you can place a 2D image in the background and with the help of a Mati shadow map and a couple of lights, we can create this realistic scene. Let's get started. We're going to work in the perspective viewport so let's click on the small plus sign, then maximize viewport. Let's go to the command panel and behind standard primitives, select extended primitives. We'll choose hedra and right in the center of the grid, we're going to drag out the hedra. Don't worry too much about the radius at the time being. Let's go over to the parameters. Choose dodec echoes, we'll scroll down under Family Parameters, in the letter P, we're going to insert the amount of 0 0.37. Here we are. Now we have our basic shape to start to create our ball. Right click on our object and convert to an editable poly. Go over to the Modify list and we'll choose Edge. Select all the edges. Let's scroll down and click on Split. Let's choose the Polygon mode. Select all the polygons. We'll go back to the Modify list and we're going to choose Tessellate. Under Parameters, Operate On, we're going to choose Polygons and we'll change the itineration to 2. We haven't got a very good shape yet, but to do that we'll just add one more modifier. Let's scroll down and we're going to select Sphere. Here we are. We've got a better shape now for our football. Let's go back over to the Modify list and choose Edit Poly. Select Polygon Mode. We'll scroll down the list. Select the small settings box next to the word Bevel. Under Bevel Type, choose Local Normal. Under Height, we're going to insert 0 0.8. Under Outline Amount, we're going to insert minus 0 0.5, then OK. Just one more thing to do, then we can start assigning some materials. Let's go back to the Modify list. We'll scroll down and choose a Mesh Smooth. Under Subdivision Method, Change to Classic. Here we are. Let's do a quick render. How's that? Let's add some material. Let's right click on our object, scroll down and convert to an editable poly. Now we're going to choose the element mode. Click anywhere in the screen to deselect and now we're just going to select all the five sided shapes. Hold the control key down at the same time and start clicking. We can use the orbit button at the bottom of the screen to turn our object. Hold the control key. Release it to orbit, OK? Again, turn it round. Let's see if we have all our five-sided shapes. Open the Material Editor. On the first material slot, just drag it over to one of the selected elements. Under the Diffuse Color, we're going to turn it to black. Click OK. Now we're going to change the specular level. Insert 50 
and the glossiness 25. Press Ctrl I on the keyboard and now we're going to select the second color sphere. We're going to drag it to the color elements and we're going to change the diffuse color to white. We don't want a pure white so we'll just drag it down to there. We're going to change the specular level to 50, glossiness to 25, close the material editor, click anywhere in the screen, how's that? Let's just do one more thing before we render. Go over to Rendering, pick Environment, we're going to change the background colour. Click on Colour, drag the dial down, choose White, then OK. Now we'll render. There we are. Now we have our football. How's that? Thank you for following this video. Tune back and you can see the second part. Enjoy.